Welcome to the second of the three presidential debates. <laughs> That's later. <laughs> Welcome to the first inaugural edition of the Strata RX conference. We're so pleased that uh, you all are here with us this morning, and we're very pleased to have a stellar lineup of speakers to offer you. We'd like to acknowledge and thank our strategic sponsors, EMC and IMS Health, and also our contributing sponsor, the Kauffman Foundation, for their generous support of Strata RX. Their participation is key to making this inaugural event uh, a great success. Many of you already know that we'll be live streaming these keynotes. So if uh, you're already tuning in on the live stream, we welcome you. Thank you for being part of our extended Strata RX audience. Um, if you'd like to tweet about the live stream to colleagues or friends, uh, the link for that is at strataconf.com slash rx2012 slash live. Driven by the exponential increase of data and plummeting costs of storage and processing power, we have truly entered the age of big data. Big data has changed the landscape of many industries from advertising to e-commerce and military intelligence. What about big data in healthcare? With data coming from a myriad of new sources, this has truly become the age of big data in healthcare also. In the past decade, we've seen the cost of DNA sequencing go from $3 billion and take around 10 years to now only be $1,000 and being completed within one day. We also have seen an explosion of new data coming from electronic medical records supplemented by government funding that's creating a new source of very valuable data exhaust. In addition, mobile health devices like Fitbit and Zio are creating a new source of, of data that supplements this exponential growth in overall healthcare data. In parallel, we've had decades of Moore's Law driving ever-increasing powerful uh, supercomputers that now give us the chance to do game-changing things. And this will continue for a long time. There's also been advances in big data analytics and machine learning algorithms that can now turn this data into very powerful insights. So the question is, the convergence of the massive data, machine learning, and computing can now allow us to discover what's working in healthcare what treatments are really driving good health outcomes, and for whom? And this is being catalyzed by the crushing economics of our $2.7 trillion a year spend. We ultimately believe that the convergence of these trends will lower health care costs and improve health outcomes. That's why we're here. That's why we've started Strata RX. This is an opportunity to start the conversation of ultimately how technology can transform the landscape of medicine and healthcare. And we're going to be hearing today from a great lineup of speakers that really represent the forefront of this new trend. On the biomedical front, we're going to hear from Alexis Borisi, the chairman and founder of Foundation Medicine, talking about next generation molecular diagnostics for cancer. We're also going to hear from Stephen Friend, the co-founder and president of Sage Bionetworks that's trying to transform pharmaceutical drug development. We're also going to hear from the health insurance side that actually pays for all this innovation, Tina Brown Stevenson, who's the EVP of United Health Group and the chief data strategist. We're going to hear from two of the pioneers in social networking in medicine, Anne Wojcicki of 23andMe and Jamie Haywood from Patients Like Me. We're going to hear from healthcare data pioneer Carol McCall of GNS Healthcare talking about the latest advances in healthcare analytics. And of course, we're going to hear the perspective from the big data and technology innovation side from tech media pioneer Tim O'Reilly, who happens to be the O'Reilly in O'Reilly Media, for those that don't know. And we're also going to hear about the government's initiatives to transform data into valuable knowledge to improve health outcomes and lower health care costs from Neil Brennan, who is the chief analytics officer of CMS. 
And I should emphasize that these keynote speakers are truly just the tip of the iceberg in what is a jam-packed day of awesome speakers. So I'm really excited to welcome everyone here today. Yeah. We all know that data science has transformed uh, many industries, but healthcare is among those, and it's in some ways one of the most important. Uh, Tim O'Reilly, as Colin mentioned, who's uh, our CEO and founder, has always exhorted us to work on stuff that matters. And healthcare matters to so many people in so many ways, uh, significant ways. So we're glad you're all here. We're anticipating a wonderful day of discussion. And uh, without further ado, let's kick that off. <laughs> 